I don't know who needs to hear this, but not every side chick wants to replace you. They don't want your position. They don't want you out of the picture. They are dating your husband. They probably have another four or five married men that they are dating. You need to understand that. They specialize in dating married men who are thirsty, who are not faithful. So, before you console yourself with, at the end of the day, you can't... Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I said my baby, my couch, and I have amazing content because that's what we do on this channel. We have fun. And the opinions here are just the people speaking their own thing. Okay, it's just the people just relaxing, having fun. They're not pushing you, they're just having their opinions just like we are all doing here, okay? <laughs> okay, like, why is it that this week's content just gives me some anxiety? Like, I'm like, oh my god. But honestly, listen, guys, né? there's some people who just specialize in dating other people's people. They don't want commitment. They just want money. That's all they want. From that union, the only thing that they want is money. It's chankuras. It's called money in South Africa, chankuras, by the way. They just want money. They don't want anything else. They don't want to, you know, replace you. In fact, they want you that so that you can keep your partner in check, you know. And even if this man is dating her it doesn't mean that she's the only one he's probably dating somebody else whatever. so not, for me personally if i would say why i don't date them like many people i don't feel like they give money like most other forget men they don't give money because they don't have it unless you get that one belly who has reached his late adolescent stage i don't know i don't want my life complicated Sincerely, I don't want my life complicated. I want my man single for me and packaged for me the way that I will build my life with him. I don't want those kind of things. And he should have money, by the way. So like I said in the beginning, there are people, like this lady is going to tell you, they specialize in that, okay? That's their specialty, speciality in operating with such men and dealing with them. They know how these men function. They are greedy men who just never satisfied. So these men, these women prey on them. Good for them, by the way. I'm not gonna bash them. Power to the woman. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's what I don't know who needs to hear this, but not every side chick wants to replace you. They don't want your position. They don't want you out of the picture. They are dating your husband. They probably have another four or five married men that they are dating. You need to understand that. They specialize in dating married men who are thirsty, who are not faithful. So, before you console yourself with, at the end of the day, he comes back to me. At the end of the day, he's not going to leave me and the kids. You need to understand that they don't want him to leave you. All they want from your husband is money. Like I said, they've got three or four married men that they're dating. And you need to understand that most of those married men that they're sleeping with, including your husband, they not using protection so you need to understand when he's coming back to you he's not only coming back empty-handed he's coming back carrying all those diseases he's coming back carrying all those infection and those things are going to come straight to you because you are dealing with a cheating man my chart is basing a side chick for dating a married man will not save you from queuing co clinic for the ARVs or going to the famous farmers every month for ARVs. It's not gonna save you. So Osatlo D not the ARV because you are dealing with a sad chick, not the man that is bringing all this shame to you. The man that is putting your life at risk by sleeping with 
these girls out there. In conclusion, stop dealing with the side chick. Those people don't care. They, they don't care about you. Deal with the person that you made fuss with. That's the person that is dangerous. That is the person that you need to deal with. I should have put this as a disclaimer when I started with the video that I'm also part of the merit gang, you know. <laughs>